All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Raiders Daily, where we post daily Las Vegas Raiders content. If that is something you enjoy, enjoy this video. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We're nine subs away from 2,000. Thank you guys so much. <sighs> Money moves have been made by the Raiders all goddamn off season. Today, no different. They signed defensive end. Tyler Lancaster, who spent his first four and only years in the NFL with the Green Bay Packers. He's 27 years old, has played defensive end, has played defensive tackle. He is versatile, folks. He's a big body, a little bit on the older side. It's something I really like about football that you can't just, you know, be essentially one and done, I guess, is, is what I'm thinking of. Comes into the league. Plays 12 games his rookie season, starts in five of them, gets 19 solo tackles, does a good job. This isn't a move like, um, this isn't like a crazy, I'm trying to think of like, you know, I made an Indomitian Sue video a couple hours ago. I would say Sue, I think now is actually probably out of the equation. I think he was probably a little bit too much money. Tyler Lancaster, I, I totally forgot he was a free agent. You know, living here in Chicago, I've seen my fair share of Green Bay Packers games. And um, Lancaster is just a guy who he's consistent, he's reliable. Uh, you know, he's never really dealt ever with injury issues in his NFL career. And so we take a look at his last season with the Green Bay Packers. Keep in mind, this guy's only played, or sorry, he's only started in 10 games, the most in one season. Like the most games he started in one season was 10. That was back in 2019 in his second year in the NFL. But this past season with the Pack Show, 16 games, three starts, uh, 31 tackles, 15 solo, 16 assists. Do I need glasses? It's hard to read. It's three tackles for loss. Uh, you know, he's got a pass deflection. He's got a fumble, forced fumble. He's got a fumble recovery. He can, he can just play. You know, like I said, it's not somebody... It's not somebody on the line that is going to like help, you know, oh shit, the Raiders just signed, you know, blank. Like, it's not like a Chandler Jones signing, right? You know, it's not like, damn, all right, now they're like immediately a threat. But for football fans, specifically Raiders fans and AFC West fans, I mean, we talked about this in yesterday's video. It's essentially like an arms race right now. Like, it's literally just an arms race. It's an AFC arms race. And so when you're trying to build, and get to the Super Bowl, these are the critical players. You know, obviously you need your stars and stuff, but like you never know what's gonna happen in the season. Maybe Tyler Lancaster just completely impresses in training camp in preseason, starts getting more reps, and by the end of the season, you know, maybe we have a double D situation almost where it's like he's just out there, like a lot. So I think this was a money move. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and give it an A. I'm gonna give it an A. It's not it's nothing that is going to break your bank it's nothing that would like since he's so versatile it's nothing that's going to like you know it's not like he's stuck playing behind crosby it's not like he's stuck playing behind jones you know it's not like he's going to mess up the two defensive tackles minutes like this is such a good depth insurance all the above signing tyler welcome to the raiders and uh, I know you're going to, going to impress. I know he's going to impress. So hit the like button, hit that sub button. Most importantly, let me know down below what do you guys think about this signing. Go ahead, grade it. Maybe, yeah, grade it on a freaking grading scale. Peace.